Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. Today, I'm going to take you out and we're going to catch some Valentine's fish. I'm going to take you to all the different locations where you can catch these Valentine's fish and show you the easiest way to spot them and to catch them. So, ooh, hello there, petting my fish. <laughs> uh, so, let's get started. First, I'm going to do is get out of here. To do that, I'm going to back up, turn around, go forward, turn around, back up, turn around, and I'm out. And that's how you get into the thing, too. Uh, this was another tip that Scott Sublet showed me, and it was pretty cool. Seen it on the Facebook page. So it's easy to do while you're sitting. You just go forward, you turn around, and you back up. Turn around again, and you just keep getting closer and closer. You can do that on your saltwater tank, too. And you can do that without having to make your guardian bigger. So there's an extra tip for you today. So let's go over here. And we're going to start on location. South Korea. Location four. Where is number four at? There it is. I'm going to go to four because I can catch two of the freshwater... As I was saying, I'm going to come to four because I can catch two of them on this location. So the fish we are after are the Korean Pis Piscorvius, something like that, Piscorvius, and the round tail paradise fish, which I have a video for. I'll put it up here in the right corner, um, but I'm also going to show you on here how to catch it as well. Okay, for the Korean Piscorvius, however you say it, <laughs> Piscorvius. We're going to switch to a popper. And I'm going to do all this on hard mode. Um, you could do it on normal as well. Um, just find, I, I like to play on hard mode. It gives me the fish finder. Uh, normal, you can see the same thing, that you can see the colors. Um, so I'm going to grab my, my fishing pole here. Man, I'm way high. And we're going to look for a medium sized fish. One of these here without the fins. Uh, we're going to look for one of those medium-sized fish, and it, we want it to be green on the popper. And since I don't see a green... Oh, wait, there's one right there. I almost didn't see him. He was hiding behind the other one. Now, there's a good chance I'm going to catch that large fish there. Um, but I'm going to go for the medium one here. And this is a floating lure, so you just reel it in. And zip it along the top there. Pop it. Oh, it was a small splash. That's a good sign. I didn't get that giant fish back there. And there it is! There's our first one! Green Piscoborius. Something like that. I got plenty of money. Let me let you go. I'll catch you another time. Okay, so... I'm going to switch to a crawfish. And what we're going to be looking for on this one is a small fish, like this red guy back here. But he's going to be yellow on the crawfish. So if we look here, round-tailed paradise fish doesn't like any bait. Swims on the bottom though. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset. Expert back to hard. Look for that small fish that's yellow. Not one there. I'm going to keep doing that until I find a small yellow fish. There we go, finally. One right there. You can see he's down low, so I'm gonna... And I can tell he's down low just by looking how dim he is. Notice how that yellow one there is really bright, so is that red one. And then you have some of these that are dim, and then you have some of these that are really, really dim. So if it's bright like that, it's on the top. If it's dimmer like that, it's in the middle. And if it's really dim, it's on the bottom. That one looks pretty dim to me, so I am guessing he's on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put my line all the way down. And I'm going to try to cast out there 150 feet or so. And try to get it right in front of his face. 
And you could do this on normal mode if you want to make it a little easier on yourself. Actually, I should have changed my bobber because I don't like using the big bobbers when I'm trying to target. I'm going to switch my bobber out here. There we go. I'll just use that one. That way it doesn't drift on me. And it might be too close. I'll let it sit there for a second and see. I'm guessing I need to go a little bit farther out though. Yeah, I'm going to go a little farther out. I need to split the difference. <laughs> there we go. That should be about 150 feet or so. There it is. Should be a very tiny splash. It was a very tiny splash. Bring this guy in. And there it is. Round-tailed paradise fish. Let you go. Swim away. All right. So now we need to go back to the lodge because I have to switch to the U.S. West. Actually, let's go to Saltwater and we'll catch the ones from Saltwater on here. Let's see, there's 16 or 17 we want to go to. 16 is dark. 17 is rainy. Rain kind of drives me crazy though, so let's go to 16. Okay, here we are on location 16. And on here we're going to be catching the striped beak perch. And we're going to use the crawfish. This one's on the top, so we're going to leave it mid or top. We'll be able to see it on the uh, fish finder. And what we're looking for is a large green fish on the crawfish on this location. So let me go ahead and grab that. And so the large fish on here are the ones with a single fin. All right. So you got these ones here. These are considered huge. Then you have large. And then these ones without the fins are medium. So we're going to go after these two green fish here. This one actually looks like it's closer to the top. That one's down midway. I'm going to cast out there. Oh, no, it turned red pretty quickly, so that's probably it. Because if it's green, it will turn red almost immediately. Yeah, and he's taken off on me. That's a good sign. Fast red line took off on me. I think we got him. There he is. Kind of hard to see at night, but oh, there you go. You can see the red stripes. Or pink. Red or pink. Alright, well, we'll let you go. Alright, so that is it for the South Korea locations. Actually, if we. There's one more that's on both locations. I believe we can catch it on 18. Okay, so here we are on 18. And the one we're going to be after here is the chub mackerel. What we're going to do is we're going to look for a yellow on the crawfish, a large yellow on the crawfish, and then we're going to catch it with the shiner. All right. So let's grab that. And there's a large yellow right in front of us. Two of them right there. That one might be green. Can't really tell. That one's yellow right there. Got some yellow ones around it. Turn the shiner. <laughs> and yeah, that's going to be... Wow. It's going to be hard to target that one right there. Let me do a reset. Just see if I can find one off on its own. 
There we go. This guy's off by himself. Perfect. Midway down. I'm going to use the crawfish. Go back to the shiner. Yeah, that'll be a lot easier. Hopefully we don't get another shark. Turn red right away. There we go. Not too many people say, hopefully I don't get another shark. <laughs> but when I'm trying to do tutorials on how to catch these guys, I don't want to catch sharks. I was doing a tutorial for sharks, then I'd want to catch sharks. Oh, I can see him. There we go. Got our chub mackerel. Alright, so let's release him. And now we're going to go back to the lodge. Because we need to switch to US West. Okay, here we are. I'm going to switch to US West. Go back to the world map. Select US West. Click on that. And we're going to go to 8 because I can catch two of them at location 8. Okay, here we are in location 8. I'm going to bring up our Fishopedia here. And we're going to be catching the pumpkin seed sunfish here. And the California roach. The, the yellow perch is also one of the guys that we're after. So we could try to catch that one here as well. You can catch all three of them here actually. Um, but if you want to single out the yellow perch, uh, you go to locations one through three using a grasshopper. And you'll be able to catch that one pretty easily without any interfering with any other fish. Um, these two, we'll be able to find these here using a dough ball. Um, both of these will be green on the dough ball. So we have a 50-50 chance on a dough ball on catching either one of those. So let me grab my rod here, switch to the dough ball, and look at that. We got two green ones right there, two small fish. Green on the dough ball, that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to cast out to that one first. Looks like he's on top. It's pretty bright. And that was pretty far. It turned red right away, so must have been perfect. Close enough. Nice small splash. And they don't put up any fight, so it'll come in really easily. All right, there's the pumpkin seed sunfish. Release him. Now maybe we'll get lucky and that one will be the other one. Let's see here, right about there. Didn't turn red right away. I might need to go a little bit farther. Was it farther or was it closer? Now let's take a look at it again. It was farther out, about 150 feet. That's probably too far. We'll come a little bit closer. There we go. What about there? Yep. That was close enough. And like I said, you can do this on normal if you want to put it right on top of their head. You don't want to have to try to guess how far out. You can catch these things all day long and fill up your aquarium with all these pink Valentine's fish. Alright, so I caught two of those. So let's do a reset. Expert back to hard. There's another one right there. And there are other locations I can go to where I can target this specific fish itself. Um, I have a spreadsheet that I've actually created and I'll put a link to it here in the uh, description. It'll have instructions to catch all these different fish, where you can find them, what bait to use, all that good stuff. We'll just keep resetting until we find it. Got 
can also switch to the grasshopper and see there's a green one here. While I'm at it, I could see if I can catch the green. This green grasshopper one. There we go. Yep, got the little hearts on them. Got a little perch. All right, so we got two of the three. Let me do a reset. Switch back to the dough ball for a small one. Nope, don't see one. There's a dim one back there. It is next to another green dim medium sized fish. But, it's a 50-50 chance, right? There we go. That was a nice quick one. Yeah, the bubbles are going after it. Oh, there it is. Nice small splash. Coming in really quickly. Look at how fast that guy came in. Wowzers. <laughs> He's just tiny. There we go. All right, California roach. All right, now we're gonna go to location. Well, we can go to 18, 19, or 20. Let's do, let's do 19. Okay, so on this location, we're going after the Giribaldi fish. And to spot that one, we're gonna switch to the krill. And get over to the krill. We're gonna look for a medium sized fish, this size fish, and it's gonna be red on the krill. All right, so since we got green and yellow, that's not it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reset. I'm gonna keep doing the resets until I find one of these medium sized fish that's red on the krill. I did do a separate video on this as well. Link in the description and also up ahead here. Aha. There's one right there. Now to catch him, we're gonna switch over to the grasshopper. Hmm. Got some green ones around it. So we might end up catching that guy as well. In fact, if it turns green right away, we'll definitely catch that, or red right away. We'll definitely be catching that guy. So, but. Save that or do a few more resets to try to find one out by itself. Oh, we'll go for it. Um, and that one is midway down. So I'm going to go. That's all the way to the bottom. I'm going to go right there to mid, mid depth. All right, so let me cast out there. Try to get it about 200 feet. No hearts on the whale. <laughs> there we go. Getting a bite. Small splash. Good sign. There's one swim. If we get two swims without a shark, that'll be a happy day. No shark. Yay. There he is. Right, the Giribaldi fish. Okay, well, let's go back to the lodge. Okay, actually, we're going to go to location 20. There's one more I forgot about. Let's go to 20. All right, so here we are on 20. And on this one, we're going to be catching the red tail surf perch. And we're going to identify that one using these two baits, okay? We're going to look for a medium fish on a krill. And then we're going to switch back to the worm. If it stays yellow, or if it stays green, 
Sorry. We're going to look for a green fish with a krill. Medium size. We're going to switch back to the worm. If it stays green, then that's our fish. If it changes yellow, then that's not our fish. All right. So let me bring this up here. Let me get back to the krill. We're going to look for these. It's on the top too, isn't it? It's on the top, so we're going to be looking for one of these medium-sized fish that are bright. So if it's dim like that, then that's not the one we want. So we got a bright green one here. If I go back one, it stays green. All right, so I have quite a few on red there. Let me bring my line up to the top. I'm going to go ahead and catch it on the worm. Because I've got these other two, but they're kind of down below and this one's on top. So it'll probably grab it faster. Cast it out there. Might have gotten it too far. We'll see. Can always bring it in a little bit. I'll bring it in a little bit. Out there. A little bit more. There we go. I was kind of a slow red though, so that might be one of the other fish. We'll see. Oh, there's a small splash. So that was one of the medium sized fish. We can get away with two swims without a shark. No shark? Yay! Hey, there it is. Okay, so I think that is the last one. Now, if I missed any, let me know in the comments section. And I'll go ahead and update my spreadsheet. But hopefully I caught them all. So let's go back to the lodge and take a look at the saltwater tank. All right, here we are back in the lodge. I'm out here swimming with the fishes, all the Valentine's fish. Well, there you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I found them all. Like I said, if I didn't find them all, let me know in the description and I'll update my spreadsheet. But my spreadsheet is linked into the description. So if you want to use that to go out and catch these guys, you can. Or you can just watch my video on the browser and go out there and catch them with me. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm near a thousand subscribers and it would be great if you're one of them. I'd love to hit a thousand. That would be so cool. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. It was pretty quick. So it's one of the green ones. Didn't take off on me, so... Seems like it'd be a medium-sized fish. If and of course, I got a shark. Well, if you want to catch a mako, I doubt it has a heart on it. <laughs> um, but it does like you know, a fish with hearts on them, I guess. <laughs> if I missed it. Now we'll bring the shark in and see if uh, my fish is still out there. Maybe that gets rid of... Uh, the other green one that was in the way.